Six months ago, I ordered a Onefinity CNC machine, and I was so excited that I hopped into SketchUp and designed a customized CNC table just for this particular machine. I even built it, and then I had to hurry up and wait. But today's the day that the wait is over. After what seemed like an eternity, I finally get to open up my Onefinity and put it together. Okay, this is a little bit dramatic, but I am really excited to do this. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and a quick assembly of my Onefinity CNC. Let's go. The Onefinity came well packed in three different boxes. Each box contained a different set of rails to actually operate the CNC. I was pleasantly surprised whenever I opened up my first box that I had a customized note from Onefinity saying that they had QAQC, this particular unit, and I was just floored. I thought that was a really nice personal touch. They even took the time to uh, engrave Team Onefinity, I, I assume using Onefinity CNC. I was then overwhelmed by how many boxes were in here, and I opened up the first box to find out that it was empty. I quickly realized that this was just a packing solution, so the second box that I shook was clearly empty, but I still opened it anyway, and was equally as disappointed. So, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well, that's just 100% my fault. The third box I opened did have some pretty interesting things. It had uh, some additional wiring as well as the suck it dust group. Now, a little bit later in the video, I'll lay out everything that came in the boxes on the table and I'll go through those in detail. So for this part of the video, I'm just gonna open up the boxes relatively quickly. The last thing that was in this box was the control unit for the CNC. So this is kind of the brains of the CNC. And this particular box is what allows you to operate it without having a laptop near the machine. So that's really cool. It's also got that red emergency stop button on it in case you run into issues. The second and third boxes that I opened weren't nearly as interesting or full of stuff, but I did have the remaining two rails for the CNC. And in this particular box, I had the Z axis, which you see me taking out here. And in the very last box I opened, I have the X rail, which you'll notice has three different bars on it as opposed to just two like you have on the Y axis. Once I had all the rails unpacked, I began to set them on the table where they would eventually go and start to get a rough mock-up of where things were gonna be placed on the table. As you put the Onefinity together, it's more or less self-leveling so long as you do the steps in the right order. So the first step is to place everything down and make sure that the X axis that's straddling across the other two rails can fit flush on the mount holders that you have on your Y rails. Now let me walk through what came in each of the individual boxes. So here you're looking at some of the components for the suck it dust boot. So this is an optional accessory with the Onefinity that actually provides a dust collection shroud around your router to enhance some of the dust collection as you're actually milling on your machine. Um, it comes with a, a spare cable, which you saw there, and then this is the uh, Z-axis, which at this point in time in the video, I had not installed yet. Moving on to the cabling, this is the power cable that feeds into the control unit, as well as some uh, bolts and some screws to actually assemble the machine together. And there's two different sets of cords, and these are the control cords that plug into the control unit that you see here and attach themselves to the signal inlets at each of the um, rails for both the X and the Y and the Z axis. I also have some additional goodies that were not a part of the Onefinity purchase, but I had gotten some drag chains and a few additional holders to help with cable management for the Onefinity. Again, I had six months to think about all this, so I had purchased a few things on Etsy to help with cable management once I had everything set up. This Onefinity CNC is really easy to put together because it was originally designed to be a mobile CNC solution. Now, the Onefinity team has done an instructional video that they've uploaded to YouTube, which is really helpful. 
So I'm not gonna be as detailed as that video, but I'll go through some of the steps that I took. The first thing is to attach the X rail to the two Y rails on either side, making sure that the actual um, Y rails are all the way forward whenever you do this installation. Then once you've got the CNC roughly where you want it, you put one screw in each corner of the Y rails. This is gonna hold those two positions in place. And then you're gonna push the X rail back. And that X rail is going to keep the other end of the Y rails perfectly even with one another. So once it's in location on the other end of the table, you can then start to finish filling in your screws and attaching it to the table. So this part went really quickly. I was done putting in screws after about 10 minutes. With the Y rails bolted down to the table, I then took time to install the Z axis on the X rail. Now there's three different positions that you can install this in. There's three different holes. I picked the middle one to start out with. Um, I may move that in the future, but this was just my starting point. With the Z-axis attached, then you just loosen the bolts that are actually meant to hold the router itself. Onefinity recommends to use the Makita router, and that's what I'm going to be using in my CNC. And to install it, you literally just put it through this slot, wait for it to bump up against the shoulder of the Makita router, and then you tighten up some of the Allen key screws to hold it in place. They do recommend that you put the power cable on the left side. With that done, I installed the Suck It Dust Boot, which is an optional accessory. If you're going to be doing any significant amount of mill work with your Onefinity CNC, I'd highly recommend getting this because it really helps out with the dust collection. More on that a little bit later. One design flaw that I encountered with the Onefinity is that the cable management is not very well developed for this particular machine. Maybe that's by design because it was meant to be a mobile CNC, but for me, I'm gonna have this be a permanent fixture in my shop and I want the cables to be neat and tidy and away from any pinch points. So I had already mapped out where I was gonna be drilling holes in my CNC table to route the cables on the bottom side of the CNC table. But in addition to that, I found someone named Route One Wood Design on Etsy that 3D prints brackets made for the Onefinity that hold rails for drag chains. Drag chains are a great way to feed your OCD and keep things organized, but they're also really functional in that they keep your power cables and your signal cables away from pinch points. As your CNC is moving around, it's gonna be doing so very quickly, and you can easily get one of these cables trapped in a pinch point, which can cause some damage. So something to think about. Another good find I had on Etsy was someone by the name of Rowdy Roman who came up with this concept of a boom arm for your dust collection hose. It utilizes the existing mounting holes on your Y-axis and allows the dust collection hose to be routed above the router, so consider checking that out. I've seen a lot of people use shop vacs for their dust collection for their CNC, which is totally fine. But I'm actually putting my CNC table next to my Delta dust collection system, so it just makes sense to use that. Now halfway through drilling this hole, I remembered that directly below this point, there's actually a table leg. Again, it had been a number of months since I had built this table and I totally forgot where the legs were, so I ended up having to put that hole further back in the table, but uh, everything ended up being just fine. Now the way that I'm gonna be running the dust collection system is there's gonna be a clear tube coming through the table, and I'm attaching a coupling on the top side of the table. 
and the coupling diameter is just larger than the hole, so it'll actually sit on the tabletop and allow me to run a flex hose beyond that. So here's what the system looks like whenever it's all set up. I've got the Delta dust collection system uh, attached to a blast gate right here. So when I'm not using it, I can close it. Whenever I do want to use it, I can open it. I then transition from a four inch line down to a two inch flex hose that penetrates the CNC table uh, using that coupling mechanism I just mentioned, and then goes into more two and a half inch flex line. Just make sure you leave enough slack in the line so that when the CNC is in the opposite diagonal corner, it's got enough two and a half inch line to make it there. The final part of the assembly is installing some kind of a spoil board. Again, because Onefinity is meant to be a mobile unit, they didn't come with a spoil board, so you have to put in your own, which gives the user a lot of flexibility. I opted to use a T-Track system with some 3 quarter inch MDF. I don't have a whole lot of footage from it because it's very straightforward, but I basically had uh, 10 and a quarter inch strips of MDF running the whole length of the cuttable area of the CNC surface, and then put some T-Tracks in between each one of them. I've only got four sets of T-Tracks in here. I may come back in the future and put more if I find that I don't have enough flexibility with my clamp down options, but I've got loads of accessories with my T-Track, which should help me um, with all my clamp down needs. So here's how the final assembled CNC Onefinity looks like. I like that there's good cable management with the drag chains on the X and Y axis. I also like that there's very clean dust collection with that swing boom arm. And the control unit mounted on the underside of the table really frees up space on the tabletop. Now you may notice that there's no LCD screen. Onefinity didn't send one with the shipment and so they're sending me one but it won't arrive for another week. So unfortunately, I can't function test it in this video. But trust me, there's going to be a lot more content coming with this CNC. I'm going to be working on part two of my CNC table, which is going to include building the enclosure around it and a lot more other projects. So please subscribe if you want to see some more content and consider dropping a like because it really helps support my channel with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much and I'll see you on the next one.